Hi everyone, this is Lynn Houston cooking. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you watch this channel, I thank for tuning in. Thank for watching. Please do remember to like, share, subscribe, and do leave positive comment. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely black cherry cheesecake. Sit back, relax, enjoy this video. Let's go into the video. So to make your um, cheesecake, the first thing you want to target is your base. Um, here, I'm going to use some digested biscuit. I'm using about um, half a pack. But um, if you don't have a machine, what you can do, you can use uh, your hands, put it in a bag. But today I'll be using a machine because it's, it's much easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, braid them up a bit, put it in this. This is a roba coop, um, come with different compartment. So we're gonna work on our base first. Uh, this roba coop is a multi-purpose one. It's very good. It's have a have a angle with it also. All I'm gonna do is put this over and it come with a with a stick. So this is the angle that it that it come with um and the brand is very useful, um, very good also and effective. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the stick on. And then we're just gonna what what we're looking for is like for the bread problems. To look like um, sand. So as you can see, it's, it's already done. So just get yourself a glass um, bowl and just pour this in. In this, I'll be using about a um, half stick of a butter. Just go ahead and pour it in. So what you need to do is combine all of this together. Just mix the butter in. So you want it to look like, it's like a wet sand. Make sure all the butter, you can buy the crumble also in some supermarket. Um, depends on the time you have, but it's better to make your own. Um, some people put a bit of sugar in this, but you don't need any sugar in it because it's already have a bit of sugar in it. So the next stage, we're going to get our, our pan. So I have this lovely pan, which the bottom can be pushed out like this. So this is like perfect um, for what I'm going to do. So um, just go ahead and pour your mixer in. So with this is all about um, to press it down. So I'm going to go ahead and press it on. You can use a spatula first, then you use a glass. So what I'm doing here, I'm just going to get a glass and press it down like so. So just keep turning it around. So with this now, you just put it in the fridge or the freezer to relax a bit until it's set. 
So after you leave it in the fridge for a couple of minutes, take it back out and we're just going to use a spoon. And what I'm doing here is just to try to level this up. You don't have to. It's personal preference. It's personal preference. And just go over the bottom. Just get the shape you want. So we're going to go on to the second stage. So and it's to make the filling. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same machine. Um, this is a smaller one. Then what? I just washed it out. I'll be using um, some Philadelphia cheese. I'm going to use um, all of this in. Uh, so this is about um, 200 and 80 grams. So I'm just going to put it in. You can put it in a bowl and um, use a whisk, but I just choose to do it like this. Now, with this, you can use double cream. I'm going to use um, some yogurt in. I'm going to use about half of this yogurt in this, but this is personal preference. And this is um, some vanilla yogurt. Um, very good. Um, this is Alpro, very good brand. Yeah, so in this, um, I use uh, about um, 250 ml of the yogurt. I'll be using the same machine which is very, very effective. You should get one of this. So with this, you can even um, hold it up in your hand if you want, you know, it's very effective. Just a couple of spins and it's already spinned out. Um, with this, I'm going to add um, a bit of um, granulated sugar in it. Not too much. You can use honey if you want, personal preference. So I'm going to add about um, two spoons of um, sugar in that. And the vanilla, I'm going to add um, two spoons of vanilla also. And then we're going to blend them out again. So we have another ingredient we want to add to this. So I'll be adding some gelatin in. I'm using about um, a sachet and a half, but let's put um, some hot water um, with it. So what the hot water do is help to um, dissolve it. Now I'm going to remove this and test the consistency. Yeah, that's look fine. So what I do, I transfer it to a deeper bowl and I'm just going to add my whisk on and just um, give it another whisk. Yeah, so that should be okay. So our shell is ready. So just go ahead, 
and gently pour your mixture in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this back in the fridge to set, and then we're going to put our filling on top. Stay tuned. So now I'm adding the filling, and I'm using a black cherry pie filling, which you can use as a topping also. So make sure to start from the middle and work your way out to the ends. Make sure you spread it evenly. And as soon as you finish this, make sure you put it in the fridge to relax and then you can cut into it. So now I'm gonna give you a glimpse at the side. This is what the side look like. It's so beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> 